When the cue ball hits an object ball, generally you expect the object ball to head in the line of center's direction. This is a line that goes through the center of both the cue ball and the object ball. However, if there is sliding motion between the cue ball and object ball during impact, there will be a throwing force due to friction. Here the throwing force is a result of English, but it can also be caused by cut angle. In this case, the throw is called spin-induced throw. Here the right English pushes the object ball slightly to the left of the line of centers. The same friction force that pushes the object ball left also induces some spin on the object ball. In this case, the right English, which is counterclockwise, induces a small amount of clockwise or left spin to the object ball. Here's an example shot. The line of centers is shown in yellow and the thrown object ball direction is shown in red. As you can see, we can get significant throw due to spin. Notice how the right English on the cue ball transfers a slight amount of left spin to the object ball. Now let's look at the effects of the amount of English and the speed of the shot on the amount of throw you get. Let's start with 50% English at medium speed. Here the throw angle is about 4 degrees. With the same amount of English and less speed we get more throw, in this case about 6 degrees. With faster speed we get less throw, in this case only about 2 degrees. With more English, in this case maximum English, we also get less throw. So to get maximum spin-induced throw, you want to use 50% English and slow speed. 